education at GVN College, Koyal Petty and EMG, Yadava College for Women, uh, Madurai. He also acted as the external academic auditor for Patima College, Madurai, SFR College, Sivagasi, Kuchalam Para Parasakti College and American College, Madurai. He has organized a seven days workshop through webinar to faculty member of Kamaraj College, Tutupuri and institutional uh, preparedness to face RAF of NAC as IQAC consultancy service. He also organized a two-day workshop on implementation of outcome-based education to the entire faculty of GVN College Coil Petty through virtual platform as a IQAC con consultancy service. So now with this credential, I request uh, Mr. Jagannathan sir to take the session, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, dear colleagues, happy to meet you all through this virtual platform. First, let me share my PowerPoint. Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. At the outset, I appreciate the management, the principal, the vice principal, coordinator of IKAC, and all other members of the organizing team of Ramco Institute of Technology for arranging this two-day NAC sponsored workshop on role of uh, NAC in enhancing quality in higher education. RIT is a budding institution uh, promisingly coming up in the field of engineering. After uh, establishing their presence in the regional level through teaching strategies and in terms of Anna University results now adding quality enhancement measures to reach or uh, to compete to global level. Yes, best practices make higher education institutions distinct and uh, unique. And uh, my dear participants, here my strategy is. First, to explain the meaning of a best practice, how it should be evolved, the benefits of best practices. And I will explain some sample best practices and their relevance. And my strategy then is to show you, uh, if the time permits, some sample best practices written by me in our college as per the guidelines given by the NAC for SSR. And uh, yesterday, I talked to the coordinator of this program and the IKC coordinator, Dr. Sivakumar, about uh, the participants. And I came to know that the participants group is very eager and very actively involving and interacting with the experts and therefore i would like to give some space for you to expose one or two best practices after 45 minutes of my explanation so my things will be completed more or less uh, in 45 minutes. Then thereafter, we will allow the participants also to explain or to expose one or two, just uh, one for each participant is enough uh, for uh, so that uh, we can discuss and expose more ex best practices in this forum. So let us uh, now move on to the topic. 
as far as uh, NAC SSR is concerned, Criterion 7 provides more liberty than the other criterions in furnishing institution uniqueness in the headings best practices and institution distinctiveness. These two metrics cover 50% of the total weightage for the criterion 7. This liberty gives us the scope for exhibiting our own practices followed at our college. And the regarding the definition, best practices are quality enhancing academic, administrative, and infrastructural strategies adopted by various institutions. Here I would like to mention one thing. Uh, one should not uh, blindly copy the best practices followed in some other institutions. And these things have to be evolved through our own effort. And best practices enable us to show that the institution is unique in its activity. It, it aids the establishment of a source or method for exercising institutional social responsibility. And regarding the benefits, the, it improves the institution's academic uh, reputation, uh, makes an institution distinct from the rest of the institutions. See, almost uh, all the institutions give the same uh, syllabus and uh, teach uh, more or less uh, similar things. So what is uh, distinct from all other institutions is the practices, the best practices, which make an institution distinct from all other institutions. And uh, regarding another important thing is it fills the gap between the teaching and the learning taking place in the classroom and the actual needs of the industry and society. And this is also some of the benefits for benefits due to best practices. It add value and give unique flavor to the end product. The best practices followed in an institution give a unique flavor to the end product. End product, we mean the graduates, the scholars, and everyone. Having a variety of clubs and fora is one of the best practices and is useful for learners to lead a quality life. It also helps students to appreciate that uh, true life lies outside the bounds of the pole. In some cases, and actually we can say in some extraordinary cases, some students fail to score in core areas of discipline, but flourish in life due to their active participation in club activities. So the some best practices of institutions for having clubs like fine arts and the clubs for tennis, tennis clubs for health club, uh, stage arts and so on are some of the clubs activities beneficial to the youth for their career and also add value to their life. And after looking at the benefits let us now move on to some sample best practices and also i will explain the usefulness or the various parameters affecting on it 
the very first thing is uh, curriculum enrichment as i said earlier it is uh, not necessary and uh, of course not possible to launch all those uh, mentioned here at one go an institution and need not or cannot possible to launch every best practices mentioned here and institution should add one uh, one by one in due course and uh, nurture them with innovative thinking and the first one i am going to explain this in this regard is curriculum enrichment uh, if you are uh, in a university or in a autonomous college then these things can be easily accommodated in the curriculum itself and if you are in a affiliated college then you have to accommodate these things as add on codes so skill based value based curriculum student centric curriculum industry tie ups internship field visit and projects all all these things have to be part of the curriculum so if it is not possible to give these things in the curriculum itself then we have to give all these modules as a supplementary course and another thing is uh, for autonomous colleges and universities usually the curriculum development cell will give an operation guidelines or in some colleges they call it as a curricular grid and this should be developed providing space for value added courses professional ethics projects environmental studies skill enhancement courses all this should these should be part of the program module only then the entire campus will be streamlined on education next thing is when developing a curriculum we must involve all stakeholders we must include them at least for getting feedback from all stakeholders say for example student alumni teachers examiners employers industry experts and the feedback from these people will help us to enrich the curriculum next is uh, teaching learning practices uh, now ict based teaching is need of the hour uh, one cannot run an institution without uh, having infrastructure for ict based e content uh, development cell is highly essential one uh, if possible every institution should uh, launch a dedicated youtube channel for uh, uploading the contents e contents which we developed through this uh, ict cell and uh, arranging peer group discussion uh, involving students of other colleges conducting games and competitions on core disciplines are some of the strategies of, as a teaching strategy to involve the generation is it institutions have to think and explore more innovative assessment methods also apart from the usual test quiz assignment and seminar we have to look for some innovative teaching or assessment methods such as poster making uh, role play problem formation concept map mind map video making and drama and involving students to conduct a skit all these things will help in a different way only then we can check the quality of uh, the learners the current age 
the assessment the old type of assessment may not uh, help you and another thing is industry institute collaboration cell students who are uh, looking dull in our uh, usual classroom activities sometime uh, perform well when we give practical exposure so it gives some confidence to the students in their learning experience similar to academic rank holders those come out with uh, out of box ideas should also be honored innovative ideas derived by students should be honored and promoted for practical application in the campus to accelerate their entrepreneur skill next thing is uh, language centers uh, establishment of uh, language centers or uh, in some institutions they uh, call it as language labs this will help the learners to correct themselves in their communications and uh, this one is very important the energy conservation centers establishment of energy conservation centers and uh, energy audit are uh, essential thing and uh, these things are stressed in the uh, NAC SSR so students uh, themselves can come out with innovative ideas towards conservation of energy derived from geothermal solar wind and biomass and uh, the third one is uh, a different one energy audit uh, we are uh, in our college we are conducting this this kind of uh, energy audit as our uh, regular practice uh, in usually we conduct energy audit in our college uh, every year it is our uh, annual practice we conduct energy audit uh, with our own uh, experts or uh, experts from our own institutions uh, monitoring the electricity consumption and uh, wastage in each building uh, generation of solar uh, power uh, water consumption replace uh, recycling process uh, amc as annual maintenance of uh, equipment all these things have to be studied under this uh, energy audit and uh, uh, usually we are not uh, fixing any external experts nice for the usually we never fix external experts every year we use our own experts from the our department alone and uh, uh, once in three or five years we conduct external audit inviting certified uh, agencies uh, only those kind of uh, audits will be accepted by the NAC but uh, at the same time we cannot uh, spend a huge amount for uh, external audit that is why we are uh, following this kind of practice and another thing is honoring the stakeholders uh, usually it is our practice in our, in our institutions to honor the students at the end of every academic year but as teachers and non-teaching staff should also be honored for their contribution in the teaching learning process teachers and students may be honored on the occasions of uh, teachers day sports day college day and on days of national importance suitably and they may be honored for their 100 percent attendance uh, for producing good results 
and for developing e-contents, uh, the further research contributions, book publications, extension activities, and for uh, serving the society through various uh, activities and for their service to the environment. So uh, if we honor the stakeholders, then it builds a good rapport between the institution and the stakeholders. So it is uh, very much essential and all these things have to be recorded properly. And the next thing is uh, incubation. Incubation center uh, may be an ordinary thing in engineering colleges, but it is occupying a prime place in arts and science colleges too, due to growing interest on skill development and the startups. The main goal is to provide a platform for aspiring entrepreneurs to launch a business with the fewest possible risk. Another thing is the virtual lab nodal centers. A virtual teaching and learning environment designed to improve students' laboratory skill is referred as virtual lab. As far as virtual lab is concerned, uh, Ministry of Education, Government of India has a portal called uh, Virtual Lab. It is actually coordinated by IIT Delhi and a uh, lot of uh, other IITs are also part of this measure. IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, IIT Karakpur, etc including Amrita Vishwa Vidyalaya Pidam, Coimbatore are participating in this project. Uh, computer and uh, internet connectivity is all that is needed for uh, launching this virtual lab. Uh, simulation type of uh, labs will be there. And uh, in contrast to the limitation of the real lab, they are one of the most significant e-learning tools since they let the learner conduct a variety of experiments at any time, anywhere. And uh, next thing is Technopark. And uh, this one is uh, not easy for arts colleges, but I think uh, this kind of activity and uh, uh, infrastructure like this will have to be conducted in every institution at least in near, near future uh, we proposed a building in our college and we asked our management to allocate a separate space for a techno park these parks provide as a setting for the growth and development of creative business the strength and to strengthen the local and national, sorry, to strengthen the local and the national economies, governments all over the world frequently invest in techno parks. Next is uh, robotic lab. Uh, as I said earlier this uh, generation has to be attracted towards education only with the help of labs like this soft skill training one success in managing a team to complete a project depends on their capacity to connect with others ordinary workers are distinguished for future leader roles by their soft skills. Soft skill is essential for connecting with others for playing leadership roles. So specialized experts must be engaged to train the students on soft skill. If possible, we have to appoint some retired people who are good in this area 
to give soft skill training at least uh, once in a week for every branch of uh, study in the college and a mock interview should be part of uh, their annual curricular activity another important thing which we need to concentrate is environment awareness it is essential and it is everyone's uh, responsibility to improve the environment so the entire college should involve uh, irrespective of the discipline in improving our ecosystem i had ideology on reducing global warming pollution sustainable development environmental loss etc are uh, some areas of concern for environmental studies this is also a highlight on environmental awareness here i would like to mention you a new scheme called the waste to wealth waste to wealth scheme must be introduced in the campus yeah let us the topic uh, our college uh, recently uh, collaborated with uh, an organization called the envo green energy of chennai envo green energy of chennai uh, who have voluntarily come forward to our institution to collect uh, the waste cooking oils used to cooking oils from our uh, canteen and uh, hostels and uh, they collected uh, nearly 163 liters of uh, used oil in the first visit and uh, they also paid a money of rupees 40 uh, per liter and uh, for our for uh, providing them the used oil they use this oil collected for uh, making a fuel so it is a two way benefit we are uh, not wasting and we are not recycling the oil so it is a two way benefit uh, rupees 40 per liter is uh, not such a small amount and uh, therefore uh, waste to wealth is a new concept concept coming up and every institution should launch this in their college another uh, thing useful for this waste to wealth is food waste and uh, leaf dry leaf can also be converted to vermi compost through some provisions available in the campus so and all these things can also be uh, sell through the provisions available in the college also next one is uh, gender equity uh, first step in guaranteeing that all students are free to pursue an education without fear of discrimination due to their gender is to promote their gender equality throughout college education observance of international women's day Uh, will also help the activities uh, for women will expose their capability to the society we must uh, develop the attitude of uh, safeguarding and respecting women another important thing is scope for uh, skill enhancement leading to employment result in women empowerment another thing is establishment of the youth parliament this may be new to some of you uh, the ministry of parliament affairs has uh, introduced the national youth parliament scheme in an effort to deepen the foundations of democracy 
foster good habits of discipline and tolerance of other people's viewpoints, help the student community to understand the parliamentary institution's function. Institution has a registered, see actually in this uh, regard, uh, national youth parliament uh, portal is there and every institution has the right to register here uh, for uh, the second edition of this scheme uh, the portal is open till 31st of december for registration so far uh, more than 10000 institutions registered for this youth parliament scheme uh, the benefit for uh, registering this is you can register here after getting concurrence from them you can conduct a, a youth parliament choosing a topic of your own uh, which is uh, useful for the younger generation and the entire program may be converted into a video and it, they may be uploaded in the portal and they, you will get appreciation for uh, conducting such activity uh, the duration for uh, the video session may be uh, more uh, may not be more than one hour so this is the limit uh, similar to Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha here also uh, Kishore Sabha and Tarun Sabha are also available uh, so far 5883 number of uh, institutions registration have been approved and more than uh, 33,000 students participated in this program. So every institution should register here and uh, conduct at least uh, one meeting every year. Uh, the topic for uh, discussion in the youth parliament should not be any uh, controversial one. It should be defense of our country, social justice, uh, reforms in economics, economic development, uh, education, health, and uh, all these things are acceptable. And uh, the time, duration, and the topic can be registered. And uh, this will be a excellent uh, topic for uh, every institution and the NAC will accept this kind of youth parliament activity. Another important thing is outreach. Outreach initiatives encourage civic participation, reciprocity, and empathy for societal issues. Since society has a stake in the teaching and learning process, outreach programs become more significant. Outreach programs built a concrete relationship with the community around the institution. NAC uh, expects every student to participate in outreach or extension activity. So actually in the calculation for uh, a mark for this particular uh, activity, uh, in act actually calculate the total number of uh, students in the college and uh, how many of them are participating in the program see for example if the institution has uh, more than 3000 students and if all the 3000 students participate in the extension activity at least uh, once in a year then the institution get to more marks so career advancement scheme for staff also provide weightage for uh, staff involvement in outreach activity so both the staff and students involvement are expected for outreach program uh, we can adopt villages uh, government schools schools for special children home for aged and they give our service to them involve every class in rotation since it it is requested to allow every student in this program in rotation every semester we can conduct at least one outreach activity
another thing is outreach program academic support to neighboring industries the institution locatedness means a lot in terms of rendering academic support to the neighboring industries uh, expert opinion on uh, producing green crackers pollution controlling pollutions energy saving ideas may be given to the nearby industries and here in sivagasi we are surrounded by fireworks and printing industries and we are actually connecting with them in making green crackers and also the same dispose safe disposal of the waste fireworks materials and uh, some of our uh, uh, departments say for example chemistry departments help them to clear their waste in a safe manner and uh, now uh, the best practice as i said cannot be fully listed by any individual institutions uh, can unearth and unlock new practices with their own ability and depending on their stakeholders and the prevailing culture in that particular place so i have uh, here i have given some of the best practices that are suitable for higher education institutions and uh, now i would like to mention uh, one at least one best practice uh, which is written as per the expectation of uh, nac or we can say nac format uh, there is a separate format for uh, exhibiting the best practices by every institution so here i would like to inform you that my institution's name is sainadar jane imal college and we usually call it as sanjak shortly and the motto of this particular institution is pro dio et patria meaning for god god and the nation uh, we consider it our moral obligation to extend our services to the society beyond the classroom and the campus in order to realize mahatma gandhi's goal service to humanity is the real service to the god and our motherland we have been carrying out many activities for the betterment of the society so anjak has chosen college social responsibility as one of the best practices see usually corporates have a similar title corporate social responsibility in tune with that uh, in our college we have chosen college social responsibility as one of the best practice the reason for choosing is our own motto is like that hope uh, i am reaching you am i audible yes sir yes sir uh, whether the new content i have opened is also seen sir yes sir yes sir it is seen sir yes sir okay thank you so this is actually the best practice uh, this can be downloaded uh, from the web also the web address is also given in my powerpoint after uh, completing my lecture i will give hand over the powerpoint to the coordinator or ikc coordinator of rit and uh, he will submit this to you so the best uh, thing is the best practice which we have chosen 
is promoting college social responsibility. See, actually, uh, through various measures, the college has uh, adopted uh, eight villages. And uh, another important uh, objective of the practice, ANJAC has fully realized its social obligation and it functions with the following objectives. Develop social consciousness and civic responsibility and give awareness on environmental issues and become economic eco-conscious, promote social ethics and communal harmony, act as a messenger of Unnat Bharat Avyan, Swachh Bharat. Actually, our college was given the uh, Unnat Bharat Avyan scheme, a money of uh, rupees 50,000. So it is very useful for us to connect with the people of village, nearby villages. Collaborate with the village administrative bodies for carrying out the Unnat Bharat Avyan activities. So the contest, what were the conceptual features or challenging issue that needed to be addressed? The vision, mission of Anjak aim at contributing positively to the growth. Sabagasi is situated in an educationally backward and rural area with a low grass endorsement ratio, and most of the students are first generation learners. Having a dry, dry landscape, Sabagasi relies mainly on industrial economy. Many of the parents of our children are school dropouts, and they are employed as a casual laborers in printing, matchworks, and fireworks industries. Through various service channels like uh, NJAC extension services, clubs and fora, the college collaborate with uh, local government administrative bodies and NGOs to carry out various activities for the welfare of the society. Uh, as far as uh, limitations or challenges as of concern, organizing such programs in rural areas involve a lot of challenges but uh, through systematic planning and teamwork all these activities have been carried out successfully okay. the practice of uh, carrying out this college social responsibility is we have a lot of uh, forums planning forum prepared uh, schedule of events and jack uh, extension services in neighboring villages and schools we have eight uh, nss units out of which uh, two are uh, exclusively for women and uh, two nss units are also there uh, youth red cross uh, society social service league red ribbon club all these are uh, Citizen Consumer Club, uh, there is a Legal Literacy Club, Health and Fitness Club, Exnora, and so on. So through these various clubs, the institution is connecting the neighboring villages and help them in various ways. Another thing is uh, regarding education by offering diversified custom made courses grass investment ratio has been increased and the dropout rate also reduced considerably instrumentation center is there in our college and it helps the research scholar for their sample analysis another thing is employment uh, ugc community college programs are uh, actively carried out in our college, DTP, desktop publishing, diploma in medical lab technology, mushroom cultivation are also offered through this scheme. Training is given to the public for preparing vermicompost. Training programs on four cards, street plays, reading palm leaf manuscripts, syllabum, and so on. Students are trained in hub incubation hub and emerged as a successful web designer and generated revenue 
crash courses on animation, filmmaking, photography, short filmmaking are also conducted every year. And awareness programs and rallies on the following issues are also organized. Conservation of water and energy, rainwater harvesting, wildlife census in Western Guards, collaborating with the forest department and we have a separate cell called the bike plan care and conservation club and the center for house uh, and sparrow studies for uh, preserving flora and uh, fauna not only in our campus but also in the neighboring villages the center for research in global warming and awareness in virgana district we simply call it as Greek Wow, creates awareness on reducing emission of greenhouse gases. Social issues. Student volunteers assist police in traffic regulation during local temple festivals. Tree plantation cleaning campaigns are also done. Another important thing is uh, in once in two or three years, we conduct a science exhibition for school students to create interest in science and technology. Short films on social issues and environmental issues were also developed and all these films are also available in the separate dedicated YouTube channel. The college has a channel and it is uh, used not only for educating our own students and we are also uh, uploading films like this to educate the common mass. So regarding the evidence of success, the villages have taken up Swachh Bharat mission seriously with our uh, education. Rainwater harvesting units result in increasing ground, groundwater and green cover has been increased due to mass tree plantation campaigns by NSS and all other volunteers. Sir, uh, sir, the sir, uh, sir, sorry sir, to disturb yes. you, sir. The screen is not visible, sir, actually. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. sir. But only stop the presentation. But, okay, okay. I'll come. Uh, once again. Yeah. Okay, so now okay? Uh, 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 okay. 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 okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, regarding evidence of success, uh, green cover has increased uh, due to mass tree plantation campaign by NSS and all other volunteers. NSS program officers uh, received state level and district level awards received awards for collecting highest contribution for flag day funds funds were raised for uh, natural disasters like varda cyclone and the gaja cyclone and the kerala floods and we also mentioned in our report that uh, the amount collected also in lakhs school teachers were given in in service training for uh, teachers handling plus two classes. CSAR coaching is offered in a big way to uh, nearly thousand of students. Students served as ambassadors on water awareness. Students assisted in live webcasting during TNPC examinations. Six students expressed their willingness from abroad to join our college. 
in our list of prominent alumni we have a, a strong alumni backup and regarding problems encountered and the resources required economic conditions most of the rural folk value employment more than education so this is one of the main concern here most of the people here prefer employment over education time constraints since the students are engaged throughout the day extracurricular activities uh, need to be conducted only after working hours fund mobilization in sometimes they we are uh, not getting proper fund from the ugc also so nowadays also for the last two years we are not getting any fund from ugc but uh, uh, considering this seriousness and its importance our management is spending their own money for conducting this uh, outreach and extension activities and another thing is uh, 150 words of optional writing uh, those things which are missed uh, in the previous settings can be given here and uh, the second uh, initiative which we have chosen in our college for our ssr is skill development initiatives for staff and students i think uh, I have crossed my time of uh, 45 minutes. So if the uh, group is interested, we shall go for uh, discussion. Before going for discussion, I shall just uh, show how we have uh, written the second practice. So the second title is Skill Development Initiatives for Staff and Students. The objectives. The primary objective of offering various training programs are to keep abreast of new technologies in frontier areas of teaching and research. We are conducting programs for teachers, students, and non-teaching staff also. See, actually, actually uh, not uh, just as a college, uh, there are uh, various cells, curriculum development cell, academic affairs and research cell, and uh, center for technology enhancement learning cell, and uh, there is uh, IKZ and the uh, women's cell in instrumentation center is there. And all these bodies are conducting at least one or two faculty development program in a year and uh, therefore uh, there will be a volume of uh, activity taking place in each year so these are uh, some of the thrust areas covered in the staff development programs curriculum designing blooms taxonomy outcome based education new teaching pedagogies innovative evaluation procedures communication skill effective use of ict new areas of research hands on training in using new instruments and equipments introduction and modification of new courses training in counseling first aid yoga and the inflip net these are some of the areas covered for non-teaching staff a two-week skill development program is offered in office automation to all the faculty non-teaching faculty and some training is also offered on using tally training is provided at regular intervals in handling lag equipment first aid and lab safety measures three non-teaching members attended workshop on pfms conducted by psgr college Coimbatore. students are important training to ensure their holistic development of personality through Anjak Innovation and Incubation Cell, College Industry Collaboration Cell, Help Internship and Projects and Placements, Counseling Cell, Help Training Students to Act as Counselors. 
UGC Community College programs are there for entrepreneur development. Center for Competitive Examinations guide coach for competitive examinations. Placement cell train the students for soft skills. There are a variety of clubs and for uh, for uh, developing social skills and uh, national values. And Jack Fine Arts train for in intercollegiate competitions and youth festivals. Cluster meetings are there for sharing knowledge with the different colleges and the different departments also. Yeah, all the departments are conducting guest lecture, workshop, seminar, conferences, mock interview every year. So evidence of uh, success in this particular practice, curriculum designing, new and innovative programs are introduced to shoot the national and global needs. New teaching pedagogies resulted in more interactive student-centric teaching. So with our effort, there are uh, 29 job-oriented courses. So students can join, the final year uh, UG student can join any of these 29 courses. ICT tools are effectively used promoting self-learning techniques to increase self-confidence in students. We encourage students to register for MOOC. A good number of students are registering for getting certificates through MOOC courses. Anjak Fine Arts backed championship in Madhuri Kamraj University Youth Festival consecutively for eight times. And uh, as usual, there will be problems too. The one important problem we usually face is getting funds for conducting so many activity. Yeah, nowadays uh, we manage fund through the funds getting from management and also sometimes from the alumni chapters. I think uh, So with this, I think uh, the my part is almost over. And uh, now I think if you are uh, interested, uh, one or two participants can connect with me and give one or two best practices, which is which are followed in your institutions. And if you have any doubt, you can also raise here. Now it is time for interaction and exposing any new ideas i request the participant to unmute uh, mic and uh, uh, explain our best practices followed in your institutions otherwise you can put it in the chat box and we'll ask Sorry, in our uh, college itself, we are following the best practice in uh, Ramco. So online okay. courses uh, offered from the uh, foreign universities. From there, we learned uh, the courses and we will transfer to that knowledge to the students. Uh, that would okay. be effective for us. Sir. 
the other college students can also join in these courses, sir. No, degree... whether it is exclusively for Ramco students or other no, students no. can join. Other can other can join, sir. It is an open okay. uh, course, sir. Open course. Okay, fine. Okay. So it is like a MOOC course. MOOC course, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Even faculty, both students and faculty also, sir. Okay, fine. Sir, one. Uh, one of the best practices in one participant has played, sir. Kajan okay. Sangvi. Uh, the institution SN, JP, GOE, Chanwan, Maharashtra. Interdisciplinary projects tell to motivate the students for multidisciplinary approach. They are, they are uh, motivating the uh, for students in doing the uh, doing inter interdisciplinary projects, sir. Okay, fine. So Similar to this, uh, in our college also, uh, there is a, a cluster department activity is uh, taking place. Already there is a cluster of colleges program is there. Virudhana district cluster of colleges program is there for mathematics. Actually, in our uh, college, we are having uh, separate uh, groups or clusters for physical sciences, for uh, uh, language departments, and for life sciences and for arts they have uh, separate uh, clusters and the, where the research scholars and students meet and uh, present papers also fine the participants um Sir, good evening, sir. I am so Kumar, sir. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the, the best practices uh, towards uh, extension and the interest extension activities, especially uh, extension and outreach activities. Um, we are having what eco club. So through eco club, uh, uh, even engineering students can uh, can have some different ideas and opinions, and they want to spend their time in a, uh, with associate with the nature. So for this. Uh, uh, we, we are having some eco club so the okay. faculty members guiding the students and uh, the students are getting motivated so they are doing their uh, likely job so by that okay. time they are automatically energized and they can get more involvement in their uh, academic activities also the eco club okay. activities for extension and uh, outreach activities sir. okay sir thank you sir Usually, extension and outreach activities are uh, uh, followed for a long time in arts and science colleges. But uh, mm -hmm. this is very rare for engineering colleges due to heavy workload on uh, their core areas. But uh, nowadays, uh, so the staff and students of uh, engineering colleges are also entering in this domain. Uh, sometimes uh, the colleges are also joining hands with uh, industry people also. Uh, as I said earlier, the corporate social responsibility and they have uh, some fund also for uh, spending the, uh, due to this title. And for example, uh, if you consider uh, this Fatima College, they join with the Fenner for uh, conducting outreach and extension activity to the general public. So the manpower is uh, given by the institution and the money will be given by the industry so in that way they will be collaborative with each other for reaching the general mass thank you sir. Sir. Yes, sir. any question related to sir best practice you can ask uh, Sir, this kind of best practices, whether it is a mandate to reflect in their respective website of their college, or otherwise uh, they are in general uh, they are thinking that this one is the best pra uh, practices for their institute. They can send a circular and they can disseminate this kind of best practices is followed in our institute and they keep it in their file, and then what? 
uh, showing to the uh, aggregation committees like this. So instead of this, whether it is a mandate or, or otherwise it's an optional for a educational institute to display this kind of best practices uh, in their uh, website, sir. Thank you. Actually, nice question. Uh, NAC is concerned uh, every year we are submitting AQR report, annual quality assurance report, AQAR. It is a mandatory one for every institution to submit this report and every aqr is a mini ssr so uh, uh, every year we are uh, answering more or less uh, the same questions given in the ssr in the aqr also so here also we have to explain to best practices so uh, in my college we are uh, every time every year we give two, two different best practices uh, so that uh, in a five year span, uh, there will be 10 best practices will be available. Anyone can go and visit uh, our college website and uh, look at uh, the best practices mentioned in it also. So usually it is there in the website. In the website, uh, we are uh, uploading the AQR report, the SSR report, and uh, therefore it will always be there and uh, once you upload all these things in your website and if you upload things in the web then it will be reflected for everyone's uh, uh, google search also see for example if you search google for best practices in autonomous college our best practice will be there we can uh, you need not uh, note down the link also uh, which i have uh, shared here you just uh, go and uh, type in the Google for uh, best practices in autonomous college. The very first thing uh, that will come to you is the best practice which we have uh, uploaded for SSR. So in that way, your practices will be noted by other people also. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. No. Further questions we will conclude. Okay. So okay. thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful lecture support the best practices in uh, unlocking the best practices in higher education institutions. So Sarah has explained about the best practices in uh, teaching learning process and education, research, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. So we knew that many practices that followed their institutions. So we understand so we will also uh, do that best practices in institutions and uh, sir also given uh, two best practices uh, followed their institutions that they uh, narrated the best practices in a um, uh, beautiful way so objective of the best practices and process and activities and uh, activities carried out then in the best practices even cell activities and club activities, even evidence of success also given, and uh, what are the challenges and limitations they faced it, uh, uh, during implementation of the best practices that also the uh, 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 explained. And <clears throat> even uh, by the way of the best practices, the institution will develop uh, uh, and it will reach an uh, height. So, and also for uh, finally he insisted that to promoting self learning uh, tech uh, activities for the students among the students that will helpful for the improvement of the institution. So, we, uh, this, it, I mean, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, wonderful lectures. Good evening to all. We welcome all the dignitaries and participants to the valedictory ceremony of this two day national workshop. Let us begin the function with the report of the national workshop. We invite Dr. V. Sivakumar, IQAC coordinator, to present the report. Thank you. I hope my voice is audible. Uh, good evening to all present here. It's my privilege to present the report about the two day NAC sponsored national level workshop on the role of NAC in enhancing quality in higher education institutions organized by Ramco Institute of Technology Rajabaliam, Tamil Nadu during 16th and 17th December 2022. I would like to present the report in three aspects. Aspect number one is preamble of this workshop, two is resource person in this workshop, and third one is 
registration and the participation takes place in this workshop. Uh, first one is, uh, in our institute, always the good initiatives are encouraged by our management, CEO, principal, vice principal, GM, admin, and uh, heads of the departments. The personalities who are behind the screen and drive us to complete this task are Dr. L. Ganesan, principal of our institute, and Dr. S. Rajak Pradhakaran, vice principal, and the professor and head department of mechanical engineering. They only created the pathway to conduct this work workshop nearly six months before. The foundation work for this workshop, applying and getting approval from NAC, was built by the coordinator, Dr. P. Sreshkar, Associate Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, in the month of July 22 itself. The second aspect is about the resource person. The if you are seeing the clusters of resource persons, the resource persons are, uh, uh, are in different shapes. First one is a renowned person from NAC. In the level of Deputy Advisor, Dr. Lena Gahane, Madam, delivered inaugural address and presented role of NAC in enhancing quality in higher education institu institution in light of NAP 2020. And second thing is uh, the resource person from private university. We have approached Dr. Kodishwar Rao Ane and sir belongs to Director Academics, Kalasalingam Academy of Research and Higher Education. He, uh, he presented about uh, outcome-based education uh, with respect to NAC's perspective. And third one is a resource person from our uh, state government university. As we know that uh, institution need to conduct one session on online related to assessment and accreditation methodology in revised accreditation framework. So you, you can see the evidences here. So, Dr. T. Pungadi Vijay Kumar, Professor and Head, Department of Food Science and Nutrition from Periyar University, Madam delivered address about uh, reimagination assessment and aggregation in higher education in India, especially white paper concept. We wish to give and uh, differentiate the functionality of uh, internal quality assurance cell and the internal quality assurance system. That's why we have approached resource person from autonomous institutes. Here, academic process and the IQSC that was taken by Dr. S.J. Dhruvengadam sir, Dean Academic Process, is a director, IQSC, Tyaraja College of Engineering. And then today's morning first session uh, that was shared by the resource person, Dr. R. Kurshit Behem, Additional Dean, IQSC, St. Joseph's College. Madam explained about internal quality assurance system in higher educational institute. And also we have approached a resource person from deemed to be university in other state. Morning, Dr. M. Ramakrishna, Dean IQSC. Sir detailed about the role of IQSC in enhancing quality in higher educational institution. The most significant criteria in NAG is criteria 7. That's why we approached Mr. R. Jagannathan, sir, coordinator of IQSC and SAR delivered about uh, unlocking institutional best practices. The third aspect is uh, the registration and participation takes place in this workshop. The total number of candidates registered for this workshop is 418, out of which 60% from affiliated colleges, 36% from autonomous colleges, and 4% from private university. So here we wondered, we have uh, received a reply from uh, government and the government aided institute also. The faculty cadre, if you are seeing, we are wondering, assistant professor in the in the in the range of sixty percentage, associate professor and professor in the range of seventeen percentage, and professor and head around twelve, nearly four percentage at, are attending this workshop. Thank you, sir. And then especially in the higher portfolio, dean, principal. IQC coordinator, IQC director, director of an institute also attending. On the other side, a research scholar, teaching fellow, librarian also attending this workshop. Thank you all. For national level seminar, we know that institution has to invite at least 10% of participants from outside the state. Here we have evidenced that the participation takes place from eight states. Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra, and home state. And two union territories, Pondicherry 
and dominant ID. The participants' identity clearly proven that we are being subjected to a small world network. It indicates as that the good initiatives will reach in any part of our nation. On an average, 178 participants attended and registered their session feedback up to six sessions. We have received supports and from all the departments, heads, moderators, other technical supports from our faculty members and students to conduct this workshop in a smooth manner. At the end of the session, I am requesting the participants to give your open feedback about this workshop for our continual improvement. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. We are honored to have with us Mr. R. Jagan Nadin, IQAC Coordinator and Associate Professor of Mathematics, Ayanada Janaki Amal College, Sivakasi, Tamil Nadu. We now request our Chief Guest, Mr. R. Jagan Nadin, to address the participants. Thank you, madam. Most uh, respected principal, Dr. Ganeshan sir, vice principal, Dr. Raja Karnakaran sir, coordinator of IKAC, Dr. Siva Kumar, workshop coordinator, Dr. Suresh Kumar, and all other organizing members of Ramco Institute of Technology. At the outset, I appreciate Ramco Institute of Technology for the wonderful execution of this NAC sponsored workshop, role of NAC in enhancing quality in the higher education institutions. Quality enhancement through NEP, NAC's perspective of OB, reimagination of assessment and accreditation, academic process and IKAC, internal quality assurance system in higher education institutions, role of IKAC in enhancing quality, unlocking institutional best practices. These are the areas covered in the uh, workshop. I think uh, most of the participants are either members of IKAC or administrative deans of various cells. This workshop by RIT stressed the role of uh, IKAC in higher education and institutions. The importance of uh, IKAC internal quality assurance cell is uh, growing day by day. Currently, National Education Policy 2020, state education policies, university policies are uh, coming up one by one for implementation, for immediate implementation. Uh, institutions are expecting IKC to play a vital role in implementing these policies successfully. And uh, the most tricky thing is to identify and develop unique best practices in spite of this pressure from outside. Hope this workshop result in quality enhancement in institutions in different parts of the country. So uh, once again, I appreciate the management, the principal, the vice principal, the coordinator of IKC and the entire team of RIT for the wonderful arrangement and also for the successful conduct of this workshop. And also I thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Thank you, thank you so much everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's time to give feedback. We request Dr. V. Sivakumar to take over the session. Thank you. I request the participants, you can unmute and you can share your feedback for our continual improvement. Good evening to all. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. K. M. Ravi Kumar, Director and Professor from the Oxford College of Engineering, Bengaluru, Karnataka. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for arranging such a wonderful program. Here. We had a good start yesterday 
and today we are at fine finish. So the resource persons were wonderful. They were in line with the topic given to them and followed that. And at the end of every session, they cleared all the doubts raised by the participants. Once again, I congratulate everyone, and I hope even in future, similar programs will be conducted. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your pleasing words. Very good evening, all of you. Yes, sir. Your voice is audible, sir. Welcome, sir. Professor S. Sagar, sir. Yes, welcome, sir. Uh, good evening, all of you. Uh, uh, thanks for the organizers for arranging this wonderful program. We have learned a lot of things and uh, eager to attend such a uh, programs in the future also. Thanks for the organizers. It is well organized and the sessions are uh, very, very informative. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I request other participants to come forward. Uh, yes, Madam, Dhan Lakshmi, Madam. Good evening, sir. I am Dhan Lakshmi from Idhya Anjaman College for Women. All the sessions were very informative, and resource persons also clearly explained all the sessions. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the organizing team members. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Madam. Welcome, Madam. Good evening, sir. I am Sapabadi. HOD of Triple E Department from MP Nachimuthi and Jagannathan Engineering College. Actually, I am appreciate for your uh, NAT program. Actually, two days, uh, actually, there is a very little bit time. Two days is not enough because in the first session, Madam uh, Dr. Lena Gangani, Deputy Advisor at NAT Bangalore, is uh, very clearly explained. So, that uh, time is but a uh, minimum. And then the same time, and the quotes are also very clearly explained for the second session. But uh, next time you will organize minimum or uh, three to four days we need. But it's a uh, perfect and the quality of uh, everything. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. One of the dynamic uh, participants in this workshop. Um, thank you, Sababadi, sir. Other participants can also come forward. Yes, welcome, Madam Sasireka, Madam. Kindly register your feedback. Yes, sir. I'm Sasireka from Radhakrishna Engineering College. Uh, we will be usually attend with the engineering background. That is technical workshop. This is the first time we'll be exposed with this kind of thing. So we are in the process of uh, NAC now. So that's why I am usually uh, from the background of the criteria one in there. So for the best to practice this and all those things discussed in all the people are giving informative and right question. Because in um, technical side, we will discuss with so many workshops, but the need is type of things are also essential and no one's ready to give this much for and that one. So they can really get informative session for two days. Similar to the past, there is a uh, before myself or not to understand this, but two days is not enough to understand all those things. That is a true fact. And I enjoy really good much of this. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you to all the coordinators for giving such an informative session and also the speakers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. More and more number of participants, they are registering their feedback in the chat box. Uh, in addition to that, if anybody wants to open out, you please come forward, unmute, and share your feedback. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable feedback. We invite Dr. P. Suresh Kumar to propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, Madam. 
most distinguished guest mr r jagannathan coordinator iqac ayanada janayamman college sivagasi tamil nadu respected principal dr l ganeshan beloved vice principal dr s rajagarnagaran hods learned member of faculty both internal and external brothers and sisters good evening to all first of all i render my hearty thanks to our chief guest mr r jagannathan coordinator iqsi ayanada janayamman college sivagasi tamil nadu for having accepted our invitation in spite of his busy schedule and for having delivered the technical session and validatory address on this remarkable event It has always been our endeavor to achieve the target set by our visionary and beloved chairman sri p r venkatrao raja sir on this occasion on behalf of rit family i used to place on my record my sincere thanks and gratitude for encouraging us for conducting such a prestigious event i take this opportunity to render my deep sense of gratitude to nac for giving financial and technical assistance for this noteworthy event that is role of nac in enhancing quality in higher education institutions i thank mr r venkatra ceo ramco group of institution for motivating and encouraging us on every occasion i would like to extend my sincere thanks to our beloved principal dr l ganeshan who always guide us in every task i also thank dr s rajagarnagaran vice principal for his continuous guidance throughout this workshop of course he is the backbone for conducting this workshop also i thank all hods and dr v sivakumar convener iqsc coordinator for the grand accomplishment of this workshop i take this opportunity to purify my deep sense of gratitude to our workshop chief guest dr leena govin kahane deputy advisor nat bangalore and other resource persons dr kodiswara rao ane director academy kalaslingam academy of research and higher education srivilliputur dr t poongadi vijaykumar professor and head department of food science and nutrition periyar university salem dr s a thiruvengadam dean academic process director iqsc tiarajar college of engineering madurai dr r kursid begum additional dean iqsc sen joseph college trichy dr m radhakrishna dean iqsc vignan foundation for science technology and research andhra pradesh who accepted our request and deliver wonderful talk and therefore making this workshop a grand success i thank uh, mr e tangam faculty in ripley department and mr charan third year mechanical engineering students who created the wonderful project design a profuse thank all cad laboratory faculty members who was given technical support for successfully conducted this workshop i also thank you to moderator dr k kartikeya in ripley dr shivakumar mechanical dr s vimal artificial intelligence and data science dr alag jayasudan ec department dr anusia csc mr t chokalingam civil department as acted as a moderator in each sessions any work organize any workshop organized is a team work i thank the team of rit for the tireless effort and meticulous planning and effort, effective execution i take this opportunity to extend my sincere thanks to all the participants from various institution across the countries without whom this workshop would have not been a grand success i once again thank you one and all for making this validatory function successful thank you sir thank you sir we request you to rise wherever you are for the national anthem nadhinayak jay hai bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravid utkal banga bindhya himachal yamuna ganga उछल जल धितरंगा तब शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय दाथा जय नगण 